Good morning everyone, my name is Michelle, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. It's Friday morning the 15th of March. In this video I want to talk about the disappearance of 15 year old Sebastian Rogers from Hendersonville in Sumner County, Tennessee. It's a few miles northeast of Nashville. So a lot has been said about Sebastian's case. The case actually had a slow start but a lot more people are talking about this case now, which is great. The behaviour panel yesterday analysed Sebastian's mother and his stepfather's interview, which I thought was interesting. I did a live stream yesterday talking about Sebastian's bio dad's interview, the dog track and the lights in the dark. So go and check out that live stream if you want a detailed discussion. In this video, I'm going to follow directly on from that live stream. Let's go. So for those not familiar with this case, 15 year old Sebastian, who has autism, walked out of his home. Now, a lot of people are disputing this, saying that the parents have killed him or whatever. But the official story from the cops via Sebastian's mother is that Sebastian went to bed about 9pm on Sunday, February 25th of this year. When she got him up for school the following morning, about 6am, he was not in the house. She went to bed at midnight and she feels that Sebastian walked out of the house barefooted, which is completely uncharacteristic for Sebastian. He's not an eloper like some autistic kids are. And according to his bio dad, Seth, he doesn't like to go out without shoes on. His mother says he must be barefoot because all of his shoes that she knows he has are accounted for. What Sebastian did take with him, not his phone, not his shoes, but a flashlight. Took a flashlight with him. Okay, so Sebastian has not been seen or heard from since. An exhaustive search of the local area has been conducted. The cops have wound down that acute search and have now entered a deep investigative phase. And there are some little nuggets of information that have come out. In Seth Rogers, Sebastian's dad's interview with Nick Barris from Channel 5 Nashville, right down at the bottom of this report, you see this. With the information I've gotten, so this is Seth talking, from Sumner County and TBI, the fact that dogs aren't 100%. They're not picking up his scent, he said. One dog tracked him to a construction area over there and just disappeared. It's so confusing. There are missing pieces to the puzzle and I'm having difficulty solving this. So a dog tracked him to the construction site. Where's the construction site? Well, Sebastian lives on this row of houses here and the construction area is right there right there. On Google, this just looks like the land has just been broken and there's very few houses that have been developed. I found this on a channel called Cluminati, which I'd never heard of before. And they live in the area and they've done a drive around Sebastian's neighbourhood. And this is what the construction site looks like. So they're looking at it from the vantage point of, I think this is Killian or Kellen. So Sebastian lives here, this road goes up and they're looking from this vantage point. So this is what it looks like at the top of Kellen. All the houses closest to the road have been finished or are close to completion. This is further back from the main road at the top of Kellen. So you can see that it, this is just dirt and currently undeveloped. They're going to build houses on here, obviously. They've prepared the, the ground, but it does look quite different than on the Google Maps. So on Google Maps, you just see a few houses that have been developed here. But in real life right now, there's... Uh, more houses that have been developed. You can see here 
there's a lot of new houses. But the construction site is behind those houses. So very much still a construction site in this um, quite a large area. So that's on Cluminati's channel. Now, Nick Barris from Channel 5 posted this on his Facebook yesterday. So there was a short clip that he released that the news channels got. But this is a minute and a half of very intriguing information. As many of you already know, I obtained exclusive security camera video that shows two people near Sebastian Rogers' home the night the 15-year-old disappeared more than two weeks ago. The video is from early Monday morning, February 26 at 3.10 a.m. It's believed that Sebastian left home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. The video is significant because it shows activity around Sebastian's home the night he vanished. She had one brief clip yesterday. You basically see two lights, believed to be two people, holding small flashlights near Sebastian's home. I've since obtained more video, and here I am dropping a longer clip. Many of you will look at this and scratch your head. I did at first, but I will spell it out for you in an exclusive report tonight on News Channel 5 at 6. And I'll post the story here after it airs. I can tell you authorities are currently working to enhance the video and consider it a potentially very important piece of evidence, but it's still too early to know for sure. So stay tuned. He has now released more to this story. Not much though, but this is the report that, that came out from Nick Berry's at 6pm, his time. The video you are about to see is from early Monday morning, February 26th, around 3.10 AM. Now, there are no street lights in the Stafford Court neighborhood, so it is at night pitch black. What you will see here are these two points of light believed to be people with flashlights in the area around Sebastian Rogers' Hendersonville home. It is believed Sebastian left his home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. Since his disappearance, authorities have reviewed security video from homes in the neighborhood looking for clues. We have had several clips that have come in. And this one is getting the most attention, showing signs of activity around Sebastian's home the night he disappeared. You see, two light sources, which we've circled to help you follow. For point of reference, the security camera was pointed toward the back of Sebastian's home in a common area. In the video, you see subject one with a light source in the lower right-hand corner. Then you see subject two briefly appear and move toward the first before that light source is covered or obscured by bushes. Subject one, a few seconds later, then moves out of frame. Then subject two reappears and follows subject one off screen. It's a short time later and it's very vague, but then you see one of the subjects moving quickly back through the common area and that is it. I know, there's not much to see here. You certainly cannot identify anyone, but those close to the investigation tell me the mere fact that there is now evidence that someone is in the area around Sebastian's home is significant. This video shows suspicious activity in the immediate area the night Sebastian disappeared. Could one of these subjects have been Sebastian? Did he meet and leave with someone? Sebastian's father says his son would not go with a stranger. It's up in the air for me because I don't think he would get into a vehicle with somebody unless he knew them. So what exactly are we seeing here? I know investigators are doing what they can to try enhancing the video for any more clues. For now, this video is now part of the Sebastian Rogers missing person file. And I'm told it could become more significant depending on where the ongoing investigation leads. We'll be following that. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. I find that very, very interesting, given that a dog tracked him to the construction site. So where is this video? This is Sebastian Rogers' house on this row here. There's bushes around his yard. Subject one is waiting in those bushes. Subject two goes to follow. And you see subject two walking towards subject one. Let's watch it again, slowed down. So here's the bushes. This light source is from a neighbor's house. 
like floodlights in the backyard. So the houses are here, the bushes are here. All right, so. And it's moving because somebody, presumably Nick Barris, is filming a screen. So here's subject two. I would argue that is someone that has come out of the house and has either turned their light off or it's obscured by bushes. You know, they might be holding it down, climbing the fence. There's a small fence around Sebastian's yard. It doesn't look like there's a fence at all on Google, but apparently there is a small fence, about three foot high, so easy to hop over. Okay, so got to wait for that light source to disappear. So subject one disappears just off screen. So they're still there, presumably, but they're in the bushes and just off, off the screen. Subject two reappears and now he's walking quickly. Stops for a bit. Walks round. And then seems to be walking quickly towards where subject one disappeared off the screen. And remember, they're both heading in this direction. So towards killing. There's the small fence around the yard. Easy to hop over. Presumably to keep the dogs in. Wouldn't keep my dogs in. Cassie and Tilly would just step over that. But the construction site is uh, to the right here. So there's killing. And then Cluminati filmed from this area. So that's just like a field on Google. That entire back area, all the way back to the main road, is going to be a new development. And a lot of these houses now have been completed. But that's where a dog tracked him to. So put the clues together. Sebastian left with a flashlight. Flashlight scene meeting another person with a flashlight from the direction of the back of Sebastian's home. And then a dog picked up a scent at the construction site. Put the clues together. Or would you rather continue to believe that the parents did something? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.